See, for me, for me, Jimmy Stewart is the kind of guy that I'd love to be, man. It's very difficult to be that, though, you know? I mean, he's just kind of up here somewhere. And I just want, I love him, man. It's, he's a great example of somebody who's had an incredibly productive life. It seems like no matter what happens, no matter how bad things get, Jimmy Stewart can look at it in a positive way. Well, I guess we're going to have ourselves a nuclear holocaust. <laughs> well, hey, everybody, come on over to the window. <laughs> Look at that mushroom cloud. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? And, and, and the amazing thing to me is that the something so magnificent, <laughs> colorful could just Melt your face right off. <laughs> That's positive energy, you know? You gotta look death right in the face. That's what Jimmy Stewart would do. Now, hi, Mr. Death, you, you look like you could use some soup. <laughs> I wanna be like that, man. Maybe I will be. Maybe someday after I'm finished singing the gospel, I'll go even further and become a real holy man. And I'm not talking about the kind of holy man you see on TV, those TV evangelists. They're not holy men. They're just ambitious. I saw one guy who was so ambitious, he actually became jealous of the Lord. You could tell it came out halfway through the sermon. He said, when I was a child, I wanted to be the savior of the world. Then they told me that Jesus was the Son of God, and I realized it's all who you know. <laughs> Very petty, petty people, you know? You can't be like that if you want to be a holy man. And you've got to be sure of yourself, too. When you make a decision, you cannot waver in any way. You've got to stick with it. You never see Gandhi during a hunger strike sneaking into the kitchen in the middle of the night. <laughs> Gandhi. What are you doing down here? Um, I thought I heard a prowler. <laughs> and I was going to eat him over the head with this giant bowl of potato salad. <laughs> he would never put himself in that position, you know? <laughs> and you gotta control your temper constantly, you know? You cannot fly off the handle at any moment. You gotta be right in the center. You know, like Jesus was very composed his whole life. I mean, right up to the end. If that was me, I'd be up there going, <laughs> Great! Just beautiful! <laughs> you guys are gonna get it. <laughs> Wait till my father hears about it. <laughs> 